Greetings, everybody. My name is Dave DeWalt. I'm the founder and CEO of Night Dragon. We're coming to you live from Black Hat here in Las Vegas in the heat of the summer, but the heat of cyber as well. This is our second State of the Cyber event. If you recall, uh, at the beginning of the year, we did a State of Cyber event as well, trying to give you a 360 degree view on the cyber industry. Today, I'm joined with my co-host, Morgan Kayak. Morgan is our managing director and partner here at Night Dragon as well. Morgan and I have worked together for many, many years. Feels like about 40 years it's now. More than a decade. Yeah. <laughs> more than a decade now. And Morgan has been an incredible expert in the world of cyber. Not only have worked at FireEye, but Juniper, uh, Dropbox, and other companies in the cyber industry. Also coming from the banking world, investment banking world as well. And we're going to co-host together today a little bit the state of cyber. And it's amazing here. What are you thinking about the enthusiasm here at the Black Hat event? No, it's it's been greatly amazing. I mean, I, I, we've been in the cybersecurity industry for decades. I would say that you know, with every iteration, with every innovation, we've seen a new mousetrap. Yeah. But over the past six to nine months, I mean, I think we've seen some new categories, new major categories get created. And so really excited to talk about it today. How many companies are we going to see while we're here this week? <laughs> a lot yeah, of companies. Yeah, a lot of companies, yeah. <laughs> It's been real fun to be an investor and advisor in this world. And Morgan and I partnered to do a lot of this along with some of our other team here at Night Dragon. Um, I want to show you a couple things at first because I've talked about for 20 years this concept of the perfect cyber storm. Mm -hmm. And I want Morgan to talk about in just a minute how AI storm adds to this perfect storm. So take a look at the numbers behind me for a minute and, and you're, you're almost shocked when you see it. I mean, first of all, the cyber market itself, what we call Cyber Safety, Security, and Privacy, CSSP, will reach a half a trillion dollar market in the next two years. So take that in for a former CEO of McAfee and FireEye, this market has accelerated like this. But look at the bottom number for a minute and look at the losses this year in the world of cyber, six trillion. And that number compared to the spending is a real asymmetric world that we live in. And that's not sustainable. A lot of losses, spending, but that probably means cyber spending's continuing to increase as well. Take a look at these other numbers. We now have over 3,500 cyber companies. Pretty amazing. A lot of investment going into the market, a lot of activity in this market. We're a part of that. But the number that shocks me is the number of threat actors in there as well. For the first time in the history of cyber, we have as many cyber attacker groups as we do cyber vendors, which is incredible. The growth of vendors has been amazing, but the growth of attackers has been equally amazing. We added 953 net new attacker groups just in the last 12 months. And for Morgan and I who tracked these groups for a long time, the number is around 800 groups. So just in the last couple of years, we've seen 4X growth in the attacker groups as well contributing to these losses and challenges that we're seeing around the world. When you start to look at all this technology inertia, the geopolitical tensions in the world, this incredible expanding attack surface, all these vulnerabilities that get created from that attack surface, you have this perfect cyber storm and that continues to be accelerated. If you look at the next slide, you'll see some of the investments that are happening here. 2022 was a record year when it relates to cyber investments when it relates to M&A activity in cyber and national security areas. And that number continued into 2023, albeit not quite as high. Obviously with the recessionary environments, it slowed down a little bit with contractions of market valuation a little bit, but all of a sudden a new storm came. At the beginning of this year, we talked about AI once or twice. Now it's all the rage. So Morgan, talk a little bit about what AI is doing now in the AI storm that's happening. Yeah, absolutely. So at Night Dragon, we've always been focused on AI, right? AI has been a technology leverage across cybersecurity companies to fulfill the promise of automation. Uh, but one thing we've seen since November of last year, since ChatGPT was released, is a massive adoption of AI, the mind share that AI has had. I mean, the great stat out there is that uh, huge social media platforms like a Twitter and a Facebook took five years, almost five years, to get 100 million monthly active users. ChatGPT took two months 
Right? So the pace of innovation that we're seeing in AI is just been rampant. And I think as part of that, every CISO, every CEO is beginning to think about AI adoption within their organization. So, you know, you see some numbers behind me here, more than $40 billion invested in AI last year. On the VC side, one of the interesting things that we're seeing going into this year is the amount of VC funding in generative AI last year, 3.6 billion. So far, just eight months into 2023, we're now at 14.4 billion. So we'll largely eclipse five times the 2022 amount. So it's just been amazing. I think as part of this though, one of the things that we're also seeing is the dynamic of AI within the cybersecurity landscape. You have the impact to the attacker uh, that's leveraging AI tools to become more sophisticated, more complex, harder to detect. And then you have these AI technologies being leveraged by the defender as well to make their solutions more efficient, uh, more automated, right? So we're, we're seeing a dynamic where that perfect cyber so storm that you described earlier is becoming much more extreme with the use of AI within these technologies. Talk a little bit about some of the threats that you're seeing the offense for a minute. We, we've heard words today, prompt attacks and jailbreaking. Talk a little bit about what you're seeing there. Yeah, so we've uh, at Night Dragon done extensive work into the AI security space. Uh, credit to our team, Josiah and Alec, that have done a lot of that work. Uh, we've actually released all this data on our website, so feel free to access it at nightdragon.com. Uh, but one of the things that we're seeing is that the cybersecurity attack vectors are developing around the AI lifecycle. So when you think about the AI lifecycle, it starts with the data, then you develop the model, then you train and validate the model, and then you deploy the model. And within each of those phases, we're actually seeing attacks materialize. On the data side, data poisoning, data privacy, data, data compliance issues. On the model development side, uh, more around use of open source, third party risk, software supply chain risk, uh, with model training and validation, ensuring that the right inputs lead to the right outputs. And then even on the deployment side, um, machine learning detection and response, prompt injection, those are new categories that are getting created around AI that we're paying close attention to. Uh, and I'm super excited. It's one of the first times I'm seeing uh, innovation occur within the cybersecurity space that is uh, new and, and, and it's, uh, it's refreshing. Talk a little bit about, I know at Night Dragon we look at the gaps between offense and defense and here comes AI, but now AI, crowd and cloud has become a foundation for a lot of categories. Maybe talk a little bit about the last slide here, which is all the focus areas we have and some of the impact of companies that we see that are using all of this tech. Yeah, yeah. So at Night Dragon, we focus on cloud, crowd and AI. So everyone understands AI. By cloud, what I mean, it's cloud native, cloud scale, being able to operate at cloud scale. Um, by uh, crowd, we mean uh, having a solution that has inherent network effects that are powered by the crowd. And so we're seeing the impact of these core fundamental te technologies on a variety of different spaces that you see behind me here. I mean, one of the amazing spaces that we're seeing is around supply chain. Supply chain, a huge critical issue, top of mind for CEOs and boards, but you can imagine the power of cloud, crowd, and AI really enhancing supply chain solutions, enabling CEOs to get a grasp on what their supply chain looks like and the cybersecurity risks attached to it. And even with AI coming uh, and layering on top of that, we see a tremendous amount of opportunity for, for customers to get a handle of their, their supply chain, which has come increasingly complex. Almost every area of focus that we have the power of AI and machine learning, the power of the crowd to really assimilate that machine learning and the power of cloud to deploy it right. becomes a game-changing capability you use supply chain, physical areas, blockchain areas, all kinds of areas can be affected here. So what do you see going forward? What are some of the coolest tech areas you see maybe outside of just AI that you might be tracking? Quantum yeah. areas like that? Yeah, yeah. You know, what's really exciting for me is the, I mean, it's tangential to AI, but it's really around automation, right? I mean, even during our careers at FireEye, we were trying to solve the security automation problem. Uh, security analysts are dealing with the deluge of data and the ability to process that data. It's very difficult and we lack the talent to do so. And so I think what I'm really excited about is automation within the security industry and how that can be potentially accelerated with the use of technologies like AI. And we need it, right? What's one of the biggest threats we see? Lack of cyber talent, mm -hmm. right? So more automation needed, help serve that gap. 
obviously a big thing as part of this. Morgan, thank you for joining me today. Thanks yeah. for being the co-host. Thank you for being my partner in Night Dragon as well. Really proud to work with you and look forward to working with you for many years to come.